Okay, good morning, everybody. We have quorum and sufficient for our grant items now. Um, I'll call this meeting of the Standing Committee on City Finance and Services to order and acknowledge that we are on the unceded territory of the Musqueam, Squamish, and tsleil peoples and thank them for welcoming us to their beautiful territory. Madam Clerk, may we have the roll call, please? Councillor Deal in the chair, Mayor Robertson, Councillor Louie, Councillor Stevenson, Councillor Stevenson, Councillor Jang, Councillor Reimer, Councillor Ball is on a medical leave, Councillor Carr, Councillor Affleck, Councillor DiGenova. You have quorum, Madam Chair. Thank you very much. Uh, as Chair of this meeting, I'm suggesting for reports that have no presentations of speakers, we adopt the recommendations collectively in a single motion. Uh, there are no presentations uh, for items one to six. Does any member wish to hold these reports for debate or questions to staff? Councillor Carr. Yes, item five, please. Item five. Anybody else? Okay. Um, we will hold item five then. Uh, does any member wish to declare a conflict of interest on any of the other items or have them voted on separately in the consent agenda? Seeing none, we need a motion to adopt the recommendations contained in reports one to six. Moved by Councillor Chang. Um, all in favor? Any opposed? That passes unanimously. The following have now been approved on consent. Item one, contract award for provision of mobile parking payment system, mobile application and interactive voice response. Item two, contract award for Kitsilano outdoor pool rehabilitation. Item three, appointment of operator and lease terms for Aunt Leah's place at 1101 Seymour Street. Yay. Item four, debenture program 2017. And item six, 2018 interest rate property tax arrears. We will now go to item number five, annual financial authorities 2018. Councillor Carr, did you wish to put yourself back on the queue? Councillor Carr. Thanks very much. Um, yes, my, um, my questions around this, uh, thanks so much for being here, Ms. Young. My, um, my questions around this uh, are related to uh, Section C of the report, which lists um, Council's authority to invest city funds in a variety of different institutions. And, um, and um, I know for sure that the Municipal Finance Authority, for example, um, does have holdings in oil and gas um, in the fossil fuel sector. Um, and I wasn't sure about the chartered banks, which was another one listed there. Um, but I'm wondering if there's any way that we could look at, um, uh, uh, maybe through a report back, but uh, look at um, how we could ensure that our city fund is not, um, that we are not investing in those agencies that are themselves investing in the fossil fuel sector. We did have an earlier report um, or a motion to council that, that related to this. Um, but, and I do note, I did some investigation that uh, the Municipal Finance Authority is looking into the potential of setting up a fossil fuel free fund. Recommendation C, uh, what we have done here is just to list out based on the Vancouver Charter Authorities what we can invest in. Doesn't mean that we actually invest in every single um, item listed in here. Right. Um, however, what I can do is um, we can actually report back in terms of uh, within our investment for, uh, portfolio, what kind of pension funds and what kind of um, investment funds that we have in and look into whether they are into this kind of uh, non-green type economy right. or business and we can report back and we can eventually over time, we can actually maybe um, exit out of that kind of investment and switch investment. So we can definitely report back. Thank you. I, I, I really appreciate that. Um, just to, to um, add, add to that information, um, I did look up the Municipal Finance Authority and found that the Comox uh, Valley Regional District um, has already started that kind of an inquiry with the Municipal Finance Authority. Mm -hmm. um, so there is some information about that and I think the um, MFA is, as I say, looking into the potential of this if there is mm -hmm. sufficient interest. Okay, that's good. Yeah. We'll definitely report back. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Councillor Carr. Would you like to move the recommendation? I will. Okay. Any discussion or debate? Seeing none, we'll go to the voter queue since we did discuss this. Please vote. <laughs> you didn't turn it on, did you? All of 30 seconds. Come on. Okay. We have. Eight in favor. Uh, this is unanimously supported. Nine in favor. All right. 
I only have eight votes. I have one absent and one not voted. Oh, wait a minute. That's the vacant chair, Councillor. Yeah. There it is, nine. Um, all right, that uh, has passed unanimously. <laughs> the standing committee portion of this meeting is now complete. We'll now convene in regular council. Okay, we will now convene in regular council to deal with the recommendations and actions from today's standing committee on finance and services uh, meeting and other items on the agenda. Madam Clerk, can we have the roll call, please? Mayor Robertson in the chair, Councillor Deal, Councillor Louie, Councillor Stevenson, Councillor Jang, Councillor Reimer, Councillor Balls on a medical leave, Councillor Carr, Here. Councillor Affleck, Councillor DiGenova. You have quorum, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Madam Clerk. And first of all, uh, we need a motion to vary the agenda in order to enact the bylaws before we can vote on the urgent business item. So moved. moved uh, by Councillor Louis, seconded by Councillor Deal. Any discussion? All those in favor? Any opposed? And that carries. And that's uh, and the committee portion as well in terms of varying the agenda. Oh, first, yeah, before we, before we vary the agenda, we do need to approve a motion to adopt the committee's recommendations. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? Any opposed? That carries. So uh, with varying the agenda, Councillor Louie moved. Any discussion? All those in favor? Any opposed? That carries. So we have first uh, bylaws one, two, and four in the agenda for consideration by council, and uh, bylaw three has been withdrawn. Council may approve these bylaws in a single motion. Does anyone want to hold uh, one of these uh, for debate, separate vote, or because of conflict of interest? Would someone like to move? Bylaws 1, 2, and 4. Councillor Jang moves. Seconder for that. Councillor Deal. Any discussion on the three bylaws together? Okay, all, the, all those in favor of bylaws 1, 2, and 4. Any opposed? Unopposed. That carries unanimously, and a list of approved bylaws can be viewed on the city's website. And that means we have one item of urgent business. That's an administrative motion, which is to be moved by Councillor Jang and seconded by Councillor Stevenson. Any discussion on that piece in particular, the urgent business administrative motion? Ready for the question. All those in favor? Any opposed? None opposed? That carries unanimously. And that means we are ready for a motion to adjourn this council meeting. Moved and seconded. All those in favor of adjournment, any opposed? That carries. This uh, meeting is adjourned and council will